In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a scroll effect here on the chart. So right now, if I hover over the canvas and then I start to scroll, as you can see here, if I scroll with my mouse wheel up, what is happening, the value goes up here and it will calculate how many times the scrolling rotation was or how big the scroll rotation was. If I do it a tiny one, if you can see here, it works. And if I do a huge one, you can see there we are. And same, of course, if I go down. So let's see if I go down. You can see this starts to decline as well, although it takes some time eventually, and there we are. So let's start to explore how we can work and do this as well. So let's start to look how to add a scroll effect in Chart.js. And we're going to really explore here the basics of this. So the first thing what I want to do here is, of course, to get the default code. So you can find this on Chart.js3.com, getting started, this specific link, which is also in the description box. So once you're on the site, scroll down and then just copy this entire chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this up here. And once I paste that all in there, I will cut out this title and put this in here. Save this, refresh, and there we are. So now we have this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with very, very basics is just can we create a scrollable chart on this one here? So what I'm going to do is, or specifically this bar here. So to do this, let's scroll down here and start to make sure that the canvas is able to spot and trigger when we scroll with our mouse wheel. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is we're going to create a function. And this function is called a scroller or something like that, doesn't matter. So in here, for now, I'll just say here console wall and say scroll. Basically, when we trigger this function on scroll, it should show the console log. Of course, if I save this here, refresh, open up developer tab, nothing happens yet. Why? Well, basically, we're not yet triggering the function because we don't know where this function is being triggered. So what I want to do now is to start to trigger the function. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this object Basically, this is the my chart, but this is an object as well. And what exactly? It's a chart object. So I need to go within my chart to get the ID. That's this one here. To do that, all I have to do is I say here my chart dot canvas. And then what we want to do here is say dot add event listener. And then we want to have scroll. But remember, don't make this mistake you might say all right i just need to put in scroll which is an event as well but no that's not it scrolling is referring to this scroll bar here that if we, that's considered a scroll for us what we're going to do is basically we're going to scroll with our mouse wheel so we're going to say here wheel for the mouse so this will only work on the mouse wheel and then we say here this is the event it's been triggered and then of course what i want to do here is say i want to trigger what functionality or what function the scroller function and what I will say here I'll say e which is the event and we could do here maybe even a comma as a chart for now we can just put that in there or sorry not chart but my chart and then here I'm going to say here uh, the scroll maybe that will be fine so just don't get the don't mistake or maybe uh, mouse scroll that's probably a better term so we know that what we're talking about and then here will be chart. So the chart is the object. And this is also an object which consists of multiple variables because this is being triggered by the scrolling effect. So for now, all I want to do here now is save this, refresh, open up developer tab, and just see if we get now something. As you can see, as I scroll up and down with the mouse wheel, or I'm going mouse wheel up or down, it will recognize it. However, there's one problem you might say, well, how do I know if I go up or down? Because right now it just shows everything. Well, let's start to look at this value here. So I'm going to copy this, put that in there, save that, refresh. And then, all right, just ignore that one. No, all right, there's no problem. We scroll down, or sorry, I'm depending on your mouse, if you're on a Mac or on a Windows, uh, scrolling up or down is exactly the opposite. So I can't say exactly, but if I am on my, I'm right now on my Mac, so if I'm scrolling up, I'm seeing this value here. And the value that I want to trigger is the delta y value. So what is delta y? Delta y, basically delta, stands for triangle and is 
uh, in mathematics, it's called a difference. And then the Y stands for the vertical level. As you can see here, delta X stands for horizontal level. So the difference in horizontal le level. So basically, that's how they they track the scrolling effect, how many delta in pixels. And these are all the pixels values. So as you can see, if we scroll here a lot, and then it becomes very, very sensitive. And you can see here, they have all these different things. You can see if I scroll in one way or the other way, it goes negative or positive depending on. If I go up, it's considered positive. If I go down with my mouse, it's considered um, negative. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this. I'm just going to change the value here. If I scroll up, I want to add up the item. The interesting thing here is as well, the delta y will recognize if I scroll long make a long scroll up, it will recognize multiple movements. So it triggers every one of them. So I don't have to calculate or build my own functionality around that. It's already built in. So what I'm going to do here is just simple. Because this is, I'm just also exploring myself as well on this topic. I've been looking for this for a while. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to say here, my chart. What I want to do is I want to update this specific value when I scroll on the chart itself. So then I'm going to say here, uh, all right, my chart. And then we say data dot data sets index zero. If you're wondering why, well, because we are here from my chart, we go to data. We only have one data set here, so that is index zero. And then we're going to get data and it's specifically index zero as well. Then you say here zero. All right. So then I'm pinpointing this one. What I want to do here is I want to say plus equal. Uh, well, basically, I want to plus equal this. So what I need to do here is create an if statement. So I'm going ahead of myself. I'm going to say if. And what I want to do here now, I'll say here, mouse scroll, if the mouse scroll dot delta y is bigger than zero, as you can see here, it is either positive if you scroll up or negative if you scroll down. Well, I guess we don't have an example here anymore. But if I scroll down, you can see here, you get a negative. So it's one or the other. So then what I want to do is, I want to say here, grab this value, let me say here, uh, plus equals one, very straightforward. Then what I want to do is, else, and what I want to do is make it more specific, else if delta mouse would be, or delta y, sorry, delta y, the mouse code delta y would be negative, in that case, I want to grab this and say I want to adjust this, but then I say here negative 1 instead of positive 1. And then finally, else, do nothing if no, no condition has happened. Or if it is just equal to 0. If it's equal to 0, there's no reason to go up. So something like that. So we're going to say like that. All right. Of course, here, then what I want to do is say my chart dot update to update the value. Save this, refresh. Now, if I scroll up, all right, look at the numbers. If I keep on going up, or sorry, if I'm going down, I'm going down here, going negative, all right, and you can see here, I'm scrolling just multiples. So if I make a very long scroll, it just eventually recognizes the amount of scrolling I have. And how that's being calculated is probably the, the rotation of the mouse wheel. It calculates that one. And this is basically how we can play around with scroll. And this is just basics. And I want other videos that will go far more deeper. However, if you're interested in using something very similar, there's a wonderful series I have created, or at least a, a topic about it, on how to create a button that scrolls the chart left to right in chart chat, which is very interesting. And it doesn't work with the scroll bar or mouse scroll functionality yet. It will be added on there. But it is a starting point. It consists of multiple videos.